Hi dear students, in this video I'm going to talk about speaking test and also I will give information about the predicted questions. In the previous video I have talked about the first part of the speaking test and also I have shared the predicted questions and now it's turn to share predicted questions for the second part and third part. As I mentioned before, these questions will be asked to you if you are planning to take this exam in January, February or in March. So, let's talk about these questions. So, after the first part, you just go to the second part and in the second part, the examiner asks you to talk about any topic. The topic is given on cue card and always related to the topic you are given three or four main questions. And also, the instructor gives you one minute for preparation and during this time you have to find something to talk about and also you make some preparation related to these questions. And after one minute, it doesn't matter for the instructor, you are ready or not, the examiner asks you to start to talk about the topic. And then, the examiner also asks you to talk about the topic for one to two minutes. And it's always better to talk about the topic for two minutes and in order to manage your time and also to answer all the questions and get higher results it's always better to practice beforehand and that's why you ha somehow have to know the predicted questions and then you go to the third part after the second part and in this part the examiner starts to ask you different kinds of questions somehow in this part you will be given five or six questions and generally part three last four or five minutes. And here you have to answer all the questions within four or five sentences. Here you have to give better answers because the questions are more general. And by the way, here all the questions are related to the second part. It means, for example, if in the second part you talked about any topic, let's say you talked about a historical building, in this case it means in the third part all the questions will be about history. So you have to be prepared and you have to answer all the questions. So you see, always I say practice, practice, practice. So it is good to practice and how to practice. Of course, we know that there are many sources and we can find part two and part three questions from different kinds of sources. I mean, on the internet, there are different websites giving these kind of questions and also different kinds of books that we can have part two and part three questions. Of course, it's better to work on this kind of questions, but I recommend it's better to work on predicted questions. So, now the only thing that you have to do is to click the link given in the description box and download the material. So, this material contains predicted questions for the part 2 and part 3. So, here approximately you are going to have 4 to 8 topics, with of course each topic has somehow 5 or 6 questions. So, you have to download the material and then you have to start from the first topic and one by one you have to work on both part 2 and part 3 questions. By the way, try to work on all kind of topics. It doesn't matter the topic is easy or you have experience about this topic or not. Every time try to be prepared because you are not guaranteed what kind of topic you are going to be asked in the official exam. So you have to start from the first topic and you have to make some kind of notes. Of course, in the next videos, I'm going to talk about the speaking. I mean, how to prepare for speaking, how to make some notes and also how to improve our speaking. But in a word, you have to practice a lot. And by the way, as I mentioned in the previous video, the main problem most students have or the main mistake that most students make is to memorize answers from different kinds of answers. But don't do it. So you have predicted questions and the only thing you have to do is to prepare all the answers yourself. So try to make your answers based on your experience, answers or ideas and opinions. So make preparation, practice, practice, practice and of course practice also will improve your fluency and also grammar. In this case, of course, you can have a chance to get higher result. Okay, that's all for today. Actually, I have tried to give brief information about predicted questions. So don't waste your time and click the link given in the description box, download the material and of course, try to make preparation. Good luck to all of you. And as I mentioned before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to watch next videos. And next videos will be about speaking and of course, how to improve our speaking test and also of course, other skills. Thank you very much for watching. See you.